What's up, Salt Strong Nation? Happy Black Friday to you. You having an awesome Black Friday? Uh, more importantly, are you spending any money? Where I guess should I ask, is your spouse spending a lot of money? Um, give me a second here. I'm going to log in while I wait for some people to join us. Um, I was woken up this morning at 5 a.m. with uh, my wife's alarm going off. I was like, what are you doing? And my wife is not one to go shopping in stores. In fact, uh, she's kind of like me. I'm more of an online guy. I'm, I don't think I remember the last time we're going to a store. Uh, but she was sitting there for about two hours buying things online, uh, even though I thought Cyber Monday was for that. But then again, here we are talking to you guys on Black Friday, all about flounder mastery. So here's the deal. And I'm waiting for Luke, which is why there's this awkward uh, area next to me. And uh, I'm waiting for Luke to come on. But we've uh, we've been working on this flounder mastery online course since july so back on july 7th we put an email out and if you don't know about our past courses we've got everything from redfish and snook and and, and grouper and some offshore species and and trout and like we have all these courses and we ask everyone like hey what do you want next and we send them out to almost like seven thousand uh people got that email and by far uh, the number one answer that we got back was flounder. And it makes sense because flounder, like they're one of the most delicious fish out there. And it's also unique because like when you catch a doormat and you post that sucker online, like that gets shared and commented like crazy. Like we've all, there's Lukey. What's, What's up, dude? What's on? We've all caught, you know, big red fish. You catch like an overslot red or even like a 40 plus inch red and you post that and it gets a lot of likes, but there's something about that doormat flounder, right? When you post cool that, they're cool, they're unique, yeah, like they're, kids love them, like, oh, it's so cool. And they're delicious. So anyhow, and yeah, they're super delicious, but they're they're not like a, a, a species that like a lot of people just go out there and target. We found 10 people that do. Like we, we went out and found basically the, the top experts from Texas up to New York that, that do target flounder year round in most cases. You know, John Skinner is one of the guys we had, and of course, in New, in New York, yeah, you can't really go target them in the middle of the uh, the winter. But down in Texas to Louisiana, Alabama, Florida, and even you know that Carolina's Georgia, South there. Carolina, you can target so them all, have all the jump, year long. The jumping tarp in there has some really cool stories of uh, flounder. Or, or flounder. I mean, yeah, the jumping out of the water and uh, hitting top water is pretty uh, pretty awesome. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna look at the comments here as they come in. The the bad news about this, so uh, we use Be Live. If any of you have any recommendations on uh, doing Facebook Lives via a desktop where we can we're, we're going to share our screen too and actually show you behind the scenes of flounder mastery show you exactly what you're getting today uh if you have anything else you like let us know the one bad thing about it is you can't read like wait a minute holy smokes huh. michael what's up Little flounder out of season Dude. up there uh yeah absolutely i mean obviously a lot of fish that we uh we try to target are out of season all the time i mean the last flounder i caught i threw it back uh there's a lot of people that do like to catch them to eat which is completely fine a-okay because they're delicious uh but also too we just want more people out fishing regardless of something's in season or not uh our whole goal for you is to help you become more consistent and confident to go out there and catch any kind of species you want all year long regardless if you're going to keep them or like with my kids, I mean, my whole goal when I go out with my kids is just to get them to have a tight line. I want them addicted to that tight line, not so much like concentrating on catching, yeah, having fun catching a, something. Yeah, catching a keeper, a keeper fish. But yes, in certain places, uh, it is out of season today. But the good news about this course, Michael, and whoever else. What's up, Garrett? Jacksonville? Dane, what's up, dude? Uh, good news is that this course is lifetime access. So and it breaks it off by season, too. So every yes. region has a seasonal basically seasonal game plan on what uh, what the fun are typically doing based on their migration and, and how to catch them too. So it was, yep. uh, it's not, not like a, just a, a now thing. It's, it's throughout the entire year. Yeah, man, we're going to share some tips on catching flounder, basically all the stuff that we learned. So let me just tell you what happened first. Big picture is there's a flounder mastery sale going on right now, and we're literally shutting this down. This is not some false scarcity. We're literally shutting this down. Like you cannot even buy the flounder master course. And we, we are going to bring it back. But when we do, it is going to be 5 to 10x the price at least. So we wanted to give something super low because that's like the biggest feedback we get from people is, hey, you know, I don't want to spend $97, which is like a price we normally have for most of our courses, about $97 to $125. And like, man, that's a lot to spend on a, on a course. And 
obviously a lot of people buy it because we have a ton of buyers, thousands and thousands of people that buy these courses. But that is a thing that we hear a lot. So we, we made a promise like, all right, we're going to make the best course ever for flounder fishing. And we, for four days, essentially from Black Friday to Cyber Monday, we are going to have it at a crazy low price, which is 97% off. And there uh, should be a link down here uh, that our Carol put in, uh, I believe somewhere in the, yeah, yeah, uh, thought I saw it. Anyhow, it should be down there where you can go see everything that you get. And so we want to have something that was just like where no one could complain that it was too expensive. It's basically the cost of a couple top water lures. But just so you know why it costs so much, and we're going to be very can can and transparent, we went out and found 10 experts. Luke included there, and C. Richardson was a guest host on there. We had to pay these people. They're not doing it for free. I mean, they literally they gave all of their best intel. I mean, we got on maps and spent hours with every single one of them going over exact trends like yeah. and literally like digging into spots and dissecting spots. I mean, hours and hours of this stuff. And oh, after it was all said and done, and it's like a 300 page book, by the way, like literally we took notes on it and transcribed it all. The transcriptions were, I don't even know how many pages. I mean, uh, over, a, a, I mean, hundreds, maybe even close to a thousand, but just the notes, like the cheat sheet alone for every single state was over 300 pages. That cost thousands of dollars too for a real fish. We had to hire a real fish from that knew the stuff that could basically put it in the cliff notes. All, all said and done, we spent over $10,000 after it was all said and done on this course. Just so you know, like this is not something that oh, we just made for a hundred bucks. I and mean, this is $10,000, not including all of our time doing it, all this, but just 10,000 real dollars we had to stroke checks for uh, over the last five months. And that's why, you know, we, we did charge a lot of money for it. But this one, we want to get so many people in there. Uh, we're hoping and praying that enough people get in where it makes it worth it for us. But if not, Man, uh, the people that get in are going to get a super deal on this. But I just want you to know that that's just being transparent. This stuff costs a lot of money to make. And you're basically getting the value. Like if you went and did this yourself, is another point I'm trying to make. It would literally cost you 10000 bucks to get this, which is $17 today, by the way, is the price. It is a complete, complete steal. So, yeah, one of my personal favorite things is the fact that, you know, we were chatting with the regional experts. It was, you know, obviously the information was, was very important and good to know, but I'm, I'm more of a visual learner, so it was yeah. nice where the experts were actually getting on Google Maps or Bing Maps, whichever one was best, in one case, MapQuest, but but zooming in and showing actual spots. So you get to see the actual type of spot that is good. And and so that was, that was but I guess the most interesting thing was is that there were a lot of trends that, so I thought that there were more regional differences than there actually are. So it was actually to see really, uh, I guess, see proof that a fish is a fish is a fish, that we kind of we've always been testing, but yeah. there are some some regional differences, especially like up in New York where the, just the temperatures are so different. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I thought that part was awesome. So I went laughing at you. I was laughing at these comments. So um, best $17 I ever spent. What's up, Dane? Thanks, dude. Uh, Stephen and Will, I feel like Luke should ca could catch more fish with a mustache. Still waiting for <laughs> the Simon's Four Brothers showdown. Dude, <laughs> count us in. I could, uh, I could have one tomorrow. I'm like, um, I can pull my driver's license out when I, I went like two or three years without shaving, and it was. Oh uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe you should. Uh, maybe we should hold up the camera. I, I wasn't catching any fish at that point. Uh, this yeah. is a bonus. If you're gonna hang out with us on Black Friday, you're gonna get to see. I got mine too. Mine's pretty bad. When it's I show a, it to people, yours is worse. It's, yours a, is, it's a conversation starter. Hold, uh, dude, you got to hold that up close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that. That is me in my prime. Uh, see, keep it, there you go. Oh yeah, like the uni bomber, Use dude. Use your eyes on that. Uni bomber. Use your eyes on that. Mine not as bad, but still pretty bad. Look I look like a hair. lion mane. Look at that hair on me. I, uh, I basically that's what I looked like when I uh, had longer hair, and I pretty much woke up and went straight to the DMV. First guy there, and uh, yeah, I looked like a lion mane. Yeah, I shaved my beard literally the day after I got my picture. That was that was the uh, <laughs> prime. So Stephen, <laughs> Stephen, it's on. Uh, Michael, thank you so much. You said got yours yesterday when it first came out. Thank you. Yeah, and so um, we we did send it out. To, so we had some people in the uh, early bird VIP list, and we sent it out to them as a surprise. We were sitting there at uh, our Thanksgiving dinner. We'd eaten a lot, had a couple beers, and like we were talking about, like, man, let's just launch this sucker. So we sent it out to a select few people, Michael being, uh, being one of them, got his uh, early, and then the rest of the people would open up at 7 a.m. here. What's up, Greg? Wilmington, North Carolina, Flanders Rule. What's up, Rudy? Um, both wanted in LA, Delaware, Indian River Inlet. Yep, good, good places. And that was a cool thing that I learned, especially just right now, just to give you a tip. 
And 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 I, I think if you're like me, you like you don't target flannel like we talked about earlier, but you catch them as a bycatch, and they're so much fun. But right now, pretty much across the South, there are flounder leaving. And what we learned from all these people said that basically eighty percent of the flounder are literally leaving to go spawn offshore. They're going offshore. They're leaving all the inshore waters. And if you think about that, that means every single one of those flounder, eighty percent of the entire population is like on a mission to leave and go spawn. They have to leave at an inlet or pass. They have to. That's the, they can't go over land. They have to go through an inlet or pass. Not that we know of. Not that we know of. But think about that. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, so no, knowing that, yeah, like right now, like this holiday season, you should be out there in the inlets and passes using all the tactics you're going to learn in this uh, in this course and all the, the right rigs. And every one of these guys, it's like, here's the best bait. I mean, some of these guys have been targeting flounder for 20, 30 years, and they've tried everything. And they're like, here's what you want. And so we, we asked them a question in every one of the interviews. We said, if we had a gun to your head and you could only use one type of lure or live bait in one certain type of spot for all four seasons, and then we talked about the tides and all the other variables, and we made them say it. And every one of them, like, without even thinking, like, boom, boom, boom. Like, we're like, man, that was so valuable. So all I have to do is take that and then go to your nearest pass or inlet, depending on where you are in America. And literally, if there's water moving, there are going to be some flounder down there that are ready to feed. Yeah, water and then structure too. Um, obviously, they're structure oriented. But uh, yeah, it was it was really cool to see the consistency yeah. and even not only, not even the type of spot, but even the lures used. Because um, obviously, we talk about live bait, and in some regions have different types of live bait. But but in general, the same type of, of bait fish was was the one. In most cases, mullet, but but some areas had like mud minnows and stuff. Some didn't. Um, but the lures, uh, it was there was one lure in particular that was. Almost across the board, people are using it. People. Yeah, that every pro from Texas to, yeah, even Nor New, New Jersey, yeah, believe, New York. I don't believe all of them mentioned at least one. Yeah, yeah that was pretty cool. cool. Uh, so the other part, so excited for this course around jetties and the beach. Yes, definitely, uh, definitely, Nick. I mean, anywhere that, I mean, you're going to have any kind of inlet or pass or a jetty, that means there's a lot of water movement. I mean, they're, they're everywhere right now. I mean, this is like the perfect time. And then they talk about, you know, what happens when they start coming back in. Like every one of them had an ideal temperature too, which is interesting. Like as soon as the water hit a certain temperature, they could basically predict that they're going to catch flounder that, uh, that week, uh, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you mentioned, uh, like the format, cause that's a question that's come up. Like, what does this look like? And so this is also unique that you know, we did all these video uh, interviews that were like two hours long each. And so we got the video, you get the full video interview for all, it's like 16 hours. And that's where, that's where they get it. That's where you can see their, their map reading, you yep. know, what they're doing on the map. So Let me, actually, you know what, let's, let's uh, see if we can add this to broadcast. Oh, it worked. Oh, let's get it big. All right. So this is the intro. Now you're going to see behind the scenes. So as soon as you invest in the course, this is the first video. And I'm basically just laying out where everything is, what to do next. And you can see here, the full PDF guide. This is the thing that's like 300 pages. It is a legitimate book. It's like I had to put it in a zip file. It was so big because it's got pictures. It's got images. It's like showing spots and showing trends. Like here's the kind of area you want to fish for every season from Texas up to New York. It really is 300 plus pages and it's broken down by region. So you can quickly find the region that you might be fishing in now or next or whatever it is and go right to it. And then it's broken down by season after that. Yeah, but for those who don't like reading, it's all on video format as well. Yep. So you can do either or. And right here is a zip file. We said the first 100 people, we'll probably just keep it open for the whole day here. So if you're still watching this, it is Black Friday. We're, we're doing this live, of course, and we're going to, I'm sure people are going to keep watching this throughout the day and tomorrow. Uh, we'll open up for anyone who gets in on Black Friday since we open up early. And I think we've already had 100, uh, definitely 100 people that have got this already now. And we'll let you have the audio bonus audio uh, mp3 files and if you're like me like I, i'm in the in the tahoe a lot i love to listen to podcasts and audio files i mean you, if you listen to this it's 16 plus hours of flounder tactics from some of the top people out there and they're literally revealing everything if you listen to that in your car over the next month or two depending on how long you spend in your car or truck you will know more about flounder than pretty much 99.9 percent of people in america i mean don't you agree like yeah, it I is agree. awesome so I tell you all this because we have it in video format, we have it in text format in the form of eBooks and PDFs, and we have an audio. This is the first time that we've uh, we've done it. Yeah, already 11 people have commented, uh, commented which is pretty cool. And then this whole first module 
is all about finding flounder. Like like the high level over the, the, and it's the stuff that we saw that was consistent across all regions. So kind of like the higher level, the migration, you can see it's uh, the migration, uh, the, the time-based feeding, you know, tide-based, you know, when the best feed is, give you a hint, it's about current. Um, and then another one of just finding spots from online maps, just kind of tips to use, whether you're in an area with clear water or murky water, you can still use these online maps to, to get a, a big leg up uh, on, on knowing where they are and, and where they're not going to be. Yep. Um, real quick, audio file, you need to come and show me. Dane, I'm telling you, brother, it's pretty simple, but <laughs> we will definitely we put a video and show you. Literally click it, it's a zip file, and depending on if you have iTunes or Google Play or whatever, yeah, it literally it's, should go automatically into yeah, it. It depends on the phone is the problem there. Yep. So different phones react differently. But no, but know that you it helps to pull them up what I found on, on a desktop and then just throw them in iTunes and boom, it's automatically synced to my phone. Uh, for me, it was literally two clicks. Uh, anyhow, we'll, we'll, we'll help you out with that. Yeah. Chris, uh, what's the cost? $17 right now. Yes. So just for now, uh, just for what for now till, till cyber Monday. Monday, it is like said, it is great. We made it a complete no brainer. Just even if you don't even make it a module two, which is where all, all the crazy stuff is with all the regions. Module one pays for itself. I mean, this stuff alone, and the reason we did how to find flounder first is because that was the foundation. I mean, all those guys brought up, like, you could have the nicest boat, you could have every lure we recommend, but you have to be able to go out there and find them. So the whole emphasis on all of this course is going out there and finding them yeah. in every one of those regions in all four seasons because they're they're literally, I mean, we, we asked these guys, like, all right, if you could pick one spot, in the summer versus fall versus spring versus winter, where would it be? And every one of them have a different spot, right? Like meaning yeah, was, was there, no one said, oh, I, I catch flounder here all year long. I mean, they yeah, you're the literally same. following the pat, the feeding patterns and the migratory patterns of these flounder. But but for the different seasons, they all had the, the same type of spot yes. that they recommended, which was which was really cool to see. And so that's the, that's all covered at the high level in module one. And then in details, you'll see the kind of regional nuances on, on the actual, you know, the full reports. Yep. So module two, this is the broken out by region. See so Texas, Louisiana, Alabama. We got a Florida West Coast and a Florida East Coast, South Carolina, Georgia, North Carolina, New York, New Jersey, and Rhode Island. And uh, like we'll click on Alabama. This was this was the very first one that we did many months ago, and we had such a blast. With uh, Captain Patrick, you see it's an hour and 47. Most of them right around the two minute mark. I mean, two hour mark. And then you get the PDF for Alabama. And that is each one of those about 30 pages. So it's like the cheat sheets of Cap Captain Patrick Armisen's entire blueprint yep. on catching. And this guy does tournaments. He fishes not just in one spot in Mobile, but all over Alabama. It even goes into some of the you know upper panhandle of Florida. Uh, in Louisiana, so, I mean, he he gave so much intel. I mean, all these guys did. Yeah, there's that whole shoreline, so we got some really really yep. cool examples to show over there. Yep. And then you got module three, which is equipment and rigging. Uh, Most y'all probably know that, but we just put that in there just so you understand exactly and how to rig. And a stuff. few little uh, nuances there that these guys uh, mentioned, and then the bonus stuff, which the recipes. We went and asked all these guys, "Hey, what are your top recipes?" We got narrowed it down like five of the best of the best. Uh, we got some tricks rehooking the lost fish. Uh, approach and positioning tips. That was another interesting one that that we covered with these guys. And it's something that's not talked about enough. Is you know how how do you approach a flounder spot? It is a little bit different than you know targeting uh, tailing redfish or something. Obviously, and it was about how to approach different spots depending on the current, depending on all the different variables out there. And that's a good one. And then that was just catch, photo, release tips. Because I mentioned earlier, everyone everyone loves the uh, the flounder picks. But um, module one right off the bat, boom. Uh, you're going to see the welcome, and then all this stuff is going to be downloadable just in one click. Ugly fishing, that's right. <laughs> yeah, ugly fishing is Captain uh, Patrick. That dude, man, he was a trip, and yeah. he's so knowledgeable. On it. He's he's one of those guys that is just. He, I mean, it's flounder has been in his family. His, his dad and grandfather did it. And, I mean, he is just he knows the stuff. And he he told a funny story. He uh, he said. I think it was his dad or his grandfather would make them as young boys. They were on a, you know, let's just say a 20 foot boat. And after, you know, you cast out and you treat it back. And as soon as he had his lure all the way directly underneath the boat, his dad would make them go just pop, literally walk along the entire boat. You remember that? And pop it along. And he said so many times they caught big flounder that were literally hiding underneath the boat. And, and the thought process 
is that a lot of these flat air think that's some kind of shade. They think they're not really scared like a redfish. They don't spook as easily because they're down there camouflaged. And he would literally pop the lure all the way around the boat, literally just off the bottom, directly below, and caught so many flounder that way. And he makes a lot of his clients do that too. And he's like, man, we catch flounder all the time. You know, most people, they start burning it in as soon as he gets their, their uh, uh, whatever their lure bait gets close. He's like, I literally pop it all the way around the edge of the boat. And it's uh, it's pretty cool. Yep. Little nuances like that. Um, so that's uh, all module one, module two, module three, module four. And all of this stuff, Every bit of it. Lifetime access. That's another big question we've heard. Like, eh, how long do I get it? It's, yeah, some people are asking, is it just until, just for this time? But no. Yeah, you get it forever. No. And when we say forever, it's basically the life of Salt Strong. Um, we came out, the very first course we came out with Redfish Mastery, which is probably. Well, short time was the first one. That's right. Uh, so that's over three years old. Then. Mm-hmm. So it's over it's three years, years old. The people that had Intro Slammer that were lucky enough to get in early still have it today and then just got inshore slammer 2.0 for free we literally no, like is. updated the entire course and they didn't have to pay a penny so as we update this stuff which we will as new things come out or new experts come out and we do more interviews or whatever we add to it or if, if we're missing something you let us know about it we go out there and refilm it and you get all the updates completely for free and you'll see here there's some other some comments um that have already uh, already come in here just from this yeah less than 20 hours since we took the sucker live and it's interactive so the reason we don't have a dvd that's another big question we get oh i kind of want a dvd dvds are great i'm not bashing them but the bad news about a dvd it's it's a dvd it, if you lose it it's done like you don't have access and to it anymore they don't get updated and they're not interactive and so if you they're... scratch it it's done if it cracks if your kid steps on it, like some of the dvds in my house it's done where this you never have to worry about it. As long as you have internet access, you can access it from your phone literally while you're out on the water. You could be out on the water having a frustrating day saying, all right, I'm going to go look up to see what this captain said about catching flying at this time of year. You can access it anywhere there's internet. But I think the biggest thing is just is those updates and it's interactive. Yep. You can literally ask a question and that goes directly to Luke. And if Luke doesn't know the answer, he reaches out to one of the captains. And usually within a couple of days, so don't expect it's going to happen in an hour, especially right there to the holidays. But Usually within a couple of days, you get a, like a, a legitimate answer, and sometimes yeah. we'll go out there and refill yeah, stuff for you. Absolutely, it. yeah. And most of the additions to the prior courses all happen from questions that we get. So a good question, oh man, that's a good one. Uh, we probably should do a video. We'll answer it, and then we'll make a whole video uh, for everybody else. So uh, yeah, we'd love love to hear feedback. And it's all you know, just like everything else, uh, all the other courses. It's a it's a year, basically a year long trial where you can have an entire year to, to go through, make sure that it works, make sure that it's more than. Been worth what you paid, and uh, if somehow you feel it's not, you just let us know to get full refund. Yep. Now, come on, Bama 9010 and Trend. Scratch his head. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dane. Yeah, 9010. 9010 rule. If you don't know that one, we did a whole webinar cool. on it. Woo. Um, big picture. And and this was a trend with, with all these interviews we have with these experts. And it's that that ninety percent of the feeding flounder are going to be in in ten percent of the area. Yeah, and, so, you can, and you can really replace flounder with any species. Yes, right? they're all typically going to be holding in similar areas throughout the year. So yeah, it's just important to to always focus on the type of spot for the given conditions. Um, whereas for years we would just go to our spots yes. regardless of, of season or or conditions, and then get upset when we weren't consistent. Yeah. Or when someone is in our one spot, like we were totally, our day was ruined. And in reality, it's all about the type of spot. Yeah. And it was cool, too, because, you know, these captains that we interviewed, and these are guys that are on the water 300 plus days a year. And, I mean, they they have plenty of time to go fish every area you can imagine. And it was cool to see them. You know, we got, all, we got on, on an online app with all of them, and they would dissect spots. And they would even say that, hey, like, I have fished this area over and over again, and they're just not there. And then... But he's like, they would literally be right over here at this point, and, and here's why. And it would be because of the current hitting in the right way, the right amount of structure, and there's a lot of bait there at all times. So you have all that. It's like, boom, you got a recipe for uh, for a, a feeding zone. And so that that is, I mean, it's such a critical part of all that we teach is that 90-10 rule. And, and for me, it, it helped me. It really helped me just like have the confidence to eliminate the 90% of the bad spots. Does that make sense? And I use that haystack analogy because you're the one that told me that first. Like, Joe, like, man, it's pretty simple. You know, if you look at an online map or any any region, 
you can you can basically know that 90% of the feeding fish are going to be in a real small area, like 10%. He's like, think of it like a haystack. You know, if someone gave you a big haystack and said, go find a needle, it's intimidating. It's like, oh, this could take forever. But if all of a sudden they took out just a little clump, 10% of it, and threw away the 90 and said, hey, it's in this small little clump, still got to find the needle, like you got to find the fish. But man, like now it's so much easier. And to me, it was a mental thing of just being able to look at a map and just kind of eliminate 90% of the bad area and then focus and really fish that 10% hard. And that was a trend that we saw over and over again with yeah. these guides yep. um, that once again moved from season to season. Learning a new area, Lake Pontchartrain. Lake Pontchartrain. Um, we, they talked a little bit about, I mean, that's, that's uh, a little bit more uh, inland in uh, Louisiana, but we definitely had Captain Troy on there from Louisiana and talked a little bit about going way up in the creeks and up in the rivers. There is a season that's, that'll be better yes. than others, absolutely. Yes. Um, let's uh, move this back down just in case. There we go. Remember the last time we lost sound forever? Oh, uh, yeah. It's all because we had a thing up there for some reason. So just in case, no one's texted me any, any time like last time. Um, we were just chatting away, and uh, nobody could hear us at all. Yeah, so um, will this work for me? I think that's the biggest question, and and really, I think anything. I, I'll just tell you a quick story. You know, we're always trying to find new ways to to market our, our services, right? You know, we're an online company. We don't have a retail store where we're having foot traffic come in, so we're always trying to find ways to just make sure our message is is matching what's behind, you know, what we're selling, whether it be this course or our fishing club, whatever it is. And so I personally invest in stuff, just like I'm asking you to invest $17 in this course. Uh, I invest in this kind of stuff myself. So in the past week I invested in uh, essentially, I haven't taken it yet in case I'm really horrible right now, but it's essentially how to get your message across. It's so simple and so succinct. And, and get people to like want to buy what you have uh, on a, either a stage or an online webinar or training or a Facebook Live, et cetera. And it was it was a nice sale too. It was room like over a thousand bucks and I got it for like $300. So I feel like I got a deal and I'm going through that stuff. But I, I tell you that like to say, man, um, one, don't be afraid to invest in yourself, especially have a guarantee. Uh, but two, my fear, because I've been there, is you know, will this work for me? And so at first I didn't buy just being candid. Like, you know, I got just like you might've received an email. I didn't, some people just buy it right away. And I wanted to, it was like, ah, I got, a, I got a couple of questions. So he did something very similar to this. We went on Facebook live, the guy selling it and answer all those questions. And as soon as I, I watched that and I read through the Q, the, the Q and a, I was like, boom, I get it. Like this is going to work for me. So if there's anything you, you have specifically like any, hurdles or things that you think, man, this might not work for me, let us know. But the main ones seem to be, you know, is this going to, is this going to help me in my area? And as Luke said, we interviewed people from Texas to New York and there was a lot of overlapping trends. I mean, a flounder is a flounder is a flounder. Just like we have people in our fishing club that are taking the same tips that we're using to catch redfish in Florida in Texas. And we did in Louisiana. I mean, we caught all those massive redfish in Louisiana using the exact rods and reels exact line and exact lures, exact hooks. I mean, literally everything was identical to how we fish it in Florida. We had to go find the spot and we had to go find moving water and find some bait. And we literally use the exact same stuff. So uh, long story short is yes, this will work for you. And if you think there's something that holding you back one, let us know. We'd love to, uh, we did lose sound. What in the world? That might've been uh Still says we got sound. Good show, Greg. Did anybody else hear us? Press yeah. one if you can still <laughs> hear us. Press two if you can hear us. Um, we'll send this I hear you. Uh, thank here. you, Dane. Thank you, Dane. Yeah, no offense. Specs, reds are pretty easy. Flounder are, are tricky. Um, and some areas don't have quite as many, but there's, true. But even still, knowing knowing the tips, there's you know West Coast of Florida. There aren't a ton of flounder, but now I feel like I have a huge advantage. And I've been I've been catching them consistently lately, after fishing uh, some of the spots that uh, that we were talking about, talking about going to. Hey, thank thank you, Patrick. Now he's saying sound good, sound is good Sweet. here. Thank you guys. Yeah, and, and that's what that's it. We heard that question a lot. Will this work for me? I, yeah. I'm in I'm in Carolinas, or you know I'm I'm in some of state other than Florida. 
Uh, we heard, we've heard that a lot, and, and that was a big reason why we did go out and get the different regional experts uh, in, in, uh, in a variety of different states. And um, and so it was cool to see that, at least in my opinion, it was super cool to see proof that it's not really about region. It's more about species because those species react the same way regardless of where they are yeah. to, the, to the same changing conditions. Um, so regardless, even if you're not in like the same city that these experts are in, the general theme is going to apply. And, uh, and if you do t- take the time to go through all the different experts, uh, is that you'll see it, it was shockingly similar on the, on the regional migrations, even the, the lures, the baits used um, throughout the different season, it was, it was shockingly similar. So and it's and, like, Rudy, the UW video was very eye-opening. Which one's that? Underwater. Oh, the underwater. Underwater, oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, that was on Rudy, the tricking us with your yeah. acronyms. <laughs> good thing good thing we only had three beer. I don't know. Do you guys see that that beer, by the way? The Sweetwater beer? Oh, yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. Tarpon. You guys see the thing on, on Facebook? The, the tarpon? The Going Coastal. Uh, they have a limited time series where the cans have a, tarp, a third of a tarpon on each can. And so if you get three of them, you can stack up. It's tarpon. awesome. Yeah. And a lot, a lot of our insiders know that I'm, I'm more of a, I'm a light beer, like especially bush light. I don't, I don't like the heavy stuff, but occasionally I will have the IPA and I only intended to have one. And, uh, looks like, well, we have to have three to get the stack going. So, uh, let me see if I can pull it up here. Why? Oh, yeah. But anyhow, uh, in terms of the other, will it work for me? We put a 365 day guarantee, which we put on all that stuff. And I think it shocks a lot of people. Like, how can you do that? Well, that's how confident we are. And yes, we, we've been burned a couple of times. We've had a couple, I call them jack wagons. But then again, it's our guarantee. And if they didn't get value, um, I would expect most people would do it in the first 30 or 60 days when they go through it. It is a little bit frustrating, when, but it's it's less than 1%. I mean, it's so it's so small, yeah, it's but small yeah, we, we believe in it. And our parents taught us, man, if, if you guys are selling something, because we got in sales at a young age and our parents taught us this, and like you guys sell something and whoever you're selling it to does not get value or feel like you know it wasn't for them, you don't deserve to keep the money. And so we do not deserve to keep your money unless you're just 100% thrilled. Like we want you so thrilled, like you would give us a five-star review, like, man, this was amazing. The bet, like someone mentioned earlier, the best value, 17 bucks I ever spent. That's what we want to hear from you. And so we we made it a complete no-brainer that if you go in, and we, we hope you go through it, uh, but then again, it's no questions asked guarantee, but we hope you go through it. And if you don't feel more confident, if you don't feel like, man, I I know more than all of my friends do about catching flounder, then then ask for your money back, and we'll do it usually within 48 hours you get it. Let me uh, show you this beer can. How cool is that? See the tarpon stack. Sweetwater is brilliant, and especially now at this price is seventeen dollars. I mean, just catch one extra flounder in a year, and that's going to pay for itself, right? Yeah, flounder. I think it's like flounder's like seventeen bucks a pound. Thing like it's super expensive to buy this place. I bought it seventeen, sold it for twenty. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> Son of a gun! Could be a black market on that. I mean, we because. Luke didn't know how, how big the book was because I was in charge of doing all the book. And I told him yesterday, I was like, dude, the book ended up when it was going to be big. I was like, it's over 300 pages. He's like, holy smokes. Like we could put that on Amazon. Uh, so it's please like, do not. It is all copywritten. And, 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 and that's another reason that we're, that we're not going to extend this forever. It's a four day. Like we ask a lot of these guides and, and guys like John Skinner, I mean, they literally gave everything stuff they never shared before publicly and and our promise to them like this is not going to be out there public like yeah it was just to our close members who have yes. who, been been following us for a while and and so that's why it's this limited time hey get it get it now and then after that we're gonna take it down for a bit and then, and then eventually release it but at a much higher price 234 pay that was the final 234 yeah. i'm gonna trust dane because he's probably looking at it right uh, right now yeah, it's a it's a legit book. It, uh, yeah. it's probably the most comprehensive book on catching flounder. But again, if you don't like reading, uh, which a lot of people don't, including myself, you know, all that stuff is is in video format too. So, Patrick, good. can you buy it and gift it to someone? Um, yeah, send get, us yes. an email. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to handle that. Yeah, just just send send fish at salt strong email, and, and we'll we'll make sure you need to buy it, just buy it under your email, and then we'll we'll uh, forward it to whoever you want to give it to. Yep. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, what we've done, and, and that's the question, like, even our dad asks, is like, you know, how do you guys prevent people from basically pirating the stuff? Well, you know, because this is on our our server and, like, we're tracking all this stuff, we get to see IP addresses. So 
it's only one email can ever log in on you know per user and obviously if you're leaving a comment we can see who the user is but even just from our standpoint look, looking at data analytics we can see if all of a sudden someone's using one email address from like three different ip addresses and weird spots it's a obvious red flag and we have reached out to some people that were essentially sharing it with uh, with friends and you know like it's it's a tough one because you know our mission is to help as many people as, as we possibly can at the same point this it, is a business and all of these guides I mean, dedicated their time and, and we obviously paid them a lot of money and they shared stuff they never shared before so it's not fair to them it's not fair to us as a, as, as a company it's not fair to you as a customer if you know you're out there sharing it you know with with people who do not pay uh so that's that's our take on it and i i, I hope that makes sense to you. yeah but the gift thing yeah just just let us know and uh and that way we could we could either have you know, we can have an email sent to them on, on your behalf yep. or, or just give you the, the details to let them know how to log in. Uh, either way, whatever you want to do, we'll, we'll be able to handle no problem. And also, too, uh, we're going to do a, a special for gifting for the Insider Fishing Club to get the whole community and the new app and everything. Uh, that's going to start uh, next week in December, so stay tuned. You can obviously gift it now, but it's a little bit tougher because of, you know, the having the, trying to change out credit cards and that kind of stuff for year two. And so we have a really cool system now and we have a really cool special we're going to do in December. Uh, so know that if you want to give that gift to a loved one, because that's been a question we've heard a lot, then we have a, a really cool, simple way to do it uh, next week uh, for that, for the Insider Fishing Club. Uh, some other questions on how do I get access? Well, as you can see, yes, thank you, Michael. Simple. Don't steal. Yes. I mean, <laughs> legally it is stealing. Uh, I mean, I think, Per the FTC, I mean, it would be considered literally stealing, like a felony. Uh, I don't think, right? Like not, felony has to be over a certain dollar. It's not misdemeanor. Yeah, you know, either way, it's, it's not it's good. Legally, it's, it's stealing. Good. I've never. I don't. I don't know. Luke's been in jail more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Two guys have not been in jail, so I don't know exactly what. But it, it, yes, it is. It is uh, literally stealing. But how do I get it? As soon as you uh, invest in the course. You get a link from us. It'll be a welcome email. Yep. It'll be an auto login link. So just get the, open up the email, click that link, and that'll automatically log you in. It's an online interactive course, um, and then from there you can you can log in. Just, I, I recommend just staying logged in. We don't we don't keep your credit card information tied to your account. Uh, we because, don't keep it at all. That's all yeah. done through a third party. That's yeah, so. all on a whole different platform. So there's really nothing uh, other than your email and your name that is in the system. So no yep. need really to log out. That way, when you do come back, you're, you're still logged in and you can, you can access whatever you need to. Yeah, and, and once again, it is all done via your one email, and you can do that from your phone or a tablet, literally anywhere there's internet, you can get on there and get all of uh, all the stuff. Apple Watches now, but I have it. Apple Watches, that'd be pretty tough to watch that on Apple Watch. Still. I like Michael here. We need to get Michael in the next one. He he made it so simple. Just don't steal. <laughs> <laughs> don't steal. I like it. Uh, the point. All right. How long do we get access? We uh, these are some of the yeah, questions. Forever. Uh, forever, lifetime, and the free updates. What's included? So, the, the, yeah, the access to the entire platform plus all future updates to it, along with any Q and A stuff that you might have as you go through. So basically, the full full gauntlet. Anything you need with Flounder. Is it a gauntlet or a gamut? Gauntlet. I don't know. Gauntlet. Whatever. What, what's the right answer, everyone? It's just everything. <laughs> it's just, let's take Michael's, Michael's advice. It's just everything. It's simple. simple. It's everything. <laughs> I love it. All right. I'm going to try to pull up this uh, this link here. Luke, entertain him with some jokes while I try to find this. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to show him the actual, uh, the actual page. Uh, so can I print, download PDFs? Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. So for all the PDFs, the, the biggest one, I think Joe's trying to pull it up, the, 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 the overall one is on the very first welcome page. Um, so, But if you don't want to print out 238 pages, I think is what somebody said, and Dane said, yeah, 234 from Dane, um, you can just go to the regional section, gamut. module two, yeah, gamut. So yeah, you get the full gamut, everybody. But in, in module two, <laughs> you can go to the individual uh, regional breakouts, and then you can just print out uh, from there just the region. You can download it and then print it. It's, it's just it's a PDF file. Yep. And you can have those PDFs anywhere that you're to keep. We just once again, as Michael said, don't steal. We ask that you don't share it. I mean, these really are uh, the the tips and tactics and shortcuts that these guys have. I mean, have 
earned the hard way. I mean, they truly have earned it by being on the water that many days for many, many, many years. And and we made a promise to them too that hey, we are, you know, we're gonna keep this as, as close as we humanly can, keep an eye on it and just make sure people are not stealing it. Uh, so we just ask that you do not share it. So here's the pages. There's a link down below. And if you're on an email, if you're one of our subscribers, you should have received an email this morning and another one probably this afternoon or evening. And this is what it looks like. You can see the countdown timer. Yes, this really does. You can feel free to check it that Tuesday morning and this page will be completely shut down. You won't even see it. And you can see some cool blinder picks. Sorry, it's taking a little while to download. What's interesting, if you notice here, all these people are, are Salt Strong members. So Salt Strong, Salt Strong hat, doormats. He's one of, does not wear a Salt Dave. Strong. Yeah, that was so, uh, Where was that one? That was me. That was, in a, that was when we were filming Snook Master, ironically. We were on uh, the, yeah. trying to catch Snook around the beaches, and uh, all of a sudden cut a little flounder. It's all in there. Yeah. It's Jim, I think. Yep. All covered up. That's a good one. Yeah. It's a, that's a beast right there. So that's the, uh, the box, the ultimate flounder formula. There's 27 different ways. Too many flounder picks, and you can never have too many flounder picks. Possible. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm waiting to see some from Day now. One of the first people to get it. Here's all the, uh, yeah, here the, here the experts there. These guys, yeah, they're, they're legit. They're the guys good. that made this, made this happen. All right, then here's everything you get. So you're gonna get, we call it the master class, the 16 hours of these never before seen these private interviews, uh, and each of those, those videos I showed you, they're broken out by region. And it's it's well over 16 hours total. The Finding Flounder Fats is a four-part video series uh, that that Luke did right off the bat, and then all of these eBooks, which are and Dane might correct me, um, but it's 20 to 30 so pages for each one. This is basically the cliff notes with pictures showing like actual spots. Like here's not necessarily focus on the spot, but more the trend. Like here's the kind of spots you want to be looking for for each season. So you get all that, you get the, the deadly flounder rigs. We made it super simple because, you know, a lot of the guys, you know, were saying that some people have just too many things and it was just all about simplification. Yep. So we're never done really three, but two main ones. And then, uh, as I mentioned here, we're going to, we said first one, we write a hundred people have already bought this. So now we're going to do it for anyone who gets it here on a uh, black Friday, you get all eight of those original MP3 files. So over 16 hours, you can listen to your car, truck, boat, working out any any place you like to listen to a podcast etc or radio uh the recipes lifetime access and it's interactive all for just 17 dollars i mean and that was a debatable like this is one of the easier yeah we we were gonna it started off at 27 and we're, we thought that was too low we're like you know what like let's just blow them away with something we've never done before and give it it's 17 bucks which is you know the price of a couple yeah, top water. If you have any interest in, in catching more flounder, uh, it's, it's worth it. It's, it's worth a try, right? There's nothing you know. If you don't, if somebody don't think it's worth seventy dollars, just let us know. But yep. uh, I, I thought I knew a pretty good amount about flounder before before doing these interviews, and I, I learned an absolute ton. Um, so now I feel totally confident whether I'm traveling up to South Carolina or or uh, Mississippi. You know, this is it was really cool to, to get validation that these these core tactics, these core strategies, still work. Yep. All right. Uh, great question. Will I get a cup? And cleat cup was cool. Uh, yes. Anyone who's part of our insider club will get a cup. Um, not necessarily today, but yes, uh, just being candid, there's a special offer after you invest in the course for certain people where you can get a free cup just for trying out the insider club. There's a lot of insiders. I think the, math, the vast majority got them for joining when we first started. And then we stopped for like a solid year. But we have them on our site at a crazy low price. Or when you renew your membership, we have some really special, um, basically a, a prize or a gift, whatever you want to call it, for uh, for renewing. So either you can get it now for a crazy low price if you're currently already an Insider member, or you can wait to your renewal and we'll shoot you out one or give you something else of uh, equivalent. Yeah, we, got, we got a cool thing. I'm not yeah, we got that. something really cool. Um, I can't. We can't. No. We can't say where it is. Wait. It's classified it's classified and it's something we've been working on the entire year and it should be ready by january let's just leave it at that and it's going to be for all 
existing insiders and then new insiders starting 2019. By the way, when we raise the price 50%, we've uh, we've had people, I think the toughest part is getting someone in, just like these courses, you know, probably like a lot of you watch this, it sounds like a lot of you've already invested in, which is great. Absolutely was blown away. Thank you, Michael. Uh, but there's a lot of people still like, you know, on the fence and it is different. And, and that's kind of how we believe we've disrupted this industry a little bit is, you know, getting a lot of this information and distilling it down into easy to understand, like a formula or like step by step, uh, a process, if you will, because, you know, our dad brought up, he's like, well, isn't a lot of this stuff out on YouTube? We're like, yeah, it is. And that's another question we get. Like, can I find a lot of this stuff? Absolutely. If you look but, long enough, you can yeah, if you look it. long enough, you can find anything. Except I mean, for the actual someone actually showing the spot. You can get the exact same um, education that someone at MIT gets if you take the time and just sit online. And in fact, MIT is now streaming their uh, their actual their courses. Uh, yeah, their courses and their lectures, which is crazy. But most of us don't have two years to go look. That's about how long it would take you. you know, it was like, Wooden redfish tips, like 150,000 videos came up or something. Yeah, like that. on, on YouTube crazy. alone, if you type in how to catch redfish or how to catch a redfish, there was, was at the time it was like 150, 160,000 different videos. And we did the math. If the average one was five minutes long, it would take you a little over two years just to go through every video on redfish alone. If that's all you did for 24 7 without sleeping or eating or taking a break, two years. And so my, as soon as I tell my dad that, he's like, ah, I get it. He's like, I value my time. You know, and if you're used to making 30 bucks an hour or 20 or even $800 an hour, like some of our members have told us who do pretty well for themselves, and you do the math, like, wait a minute, if this can just save me an hour of my time and I make 20 bucks an hour as an employee, then the 17 bucks is well worth it, right? Yeah, and even, that's how you have to look yeah, at it. Even, even if it's $10 an hour, right, then it's still just 10 hours of time. And in this case, it's an hour and a half. Right. <laughs> but I'm trying to make this simple. I mean, yeah. if it doesn't save you an hour of time, of not having to dig through this stuff, but we know what it is. I mean, the, the interviews we had to we had to pay good money for this. Like I said, we spent a lot of money making this whole course, so we know it would take you ten thousand dollars just to even go invest to curate all this stuff. And so, anyhow, um, where I was going with this to start this whole uh, rabbit hole, I'm so excited about uh, Black Friday here. Is that we've had a lot of people that get in after they get over that hump of investing in a course or joining our club that have said like, you guys are like, you have so much stuff here, so much so that like you're, you're not charging enough for it. And so we are raising the price in 2019, not for this course, this course is going away after black Friday, but for the insider fishing club, we spent a lot of money developing an amazing app. Uh, and if you haven't been there, is a current insider, check it out. It's, it's free for you guys. Yeah, right, the, the, map, the map in there is amazing. Where yes. it's, uh, it's literally there's so many different uh, just different points and, and reports on there that it's it's, it's really awesome. We have some cool things that are be, be added to it as well. Yep. Um, but anyhow, we're raising the price fifty percent, so it is a, a significant increase, and and also that's going to enable us to go do some amazing stuff for the insider members, and in terms of going out and getting other pros on board and covering all kinds of new species and new territories. Uh, we'll just leave it at, uh, at that. The good news is once you lock in at $1.87 per week, yes, only $1.87 per week, 27 cents per day, cheaper than a cup of coffee per day, you're locked in for life. That's our promise to you is once you're in at that price, you're, you're grandfathered in. And because uh, we appreciate it. You're the ones that help us you know, get to where we are. And we want to reward the early adopters, if you uh, if you will. So I would encourage you, one, to get this final course, but two, to join the club, just like our courses, comes with a 365-day, 100% money-back guarantee. And I promise you, once you get in and see the community and see how positive the community is, and you're, you're not even allowed to curse in there. You literally can't curse. Uh, we, just, we wanted something that was so family-friendly and just so positive because it's a big problem we see in the fishing industry with all these forums. And, and we have one of the biggest f Facebook groups out there. And some days I literally want to delete it. Like, it's just disgusting some of the stuff that people put in there. And we, we kick those people out as fast yeah. as we can, but it's, it, it is so hard to regulate a Facebook group. It's because people are getting there for free, right? There's, they have no investment in it at all. And so they don't really care if they get banned or offend people. And so that's why we just made the, we want to have this where it's just, it's, it's just for those who are, are really, you know, inefficient for the right reasons, they're yep. in there to, to get some support and to support others. And it's been really cool watching it grow. The, the, 
because the reports they you know it's, it's everybody sharing their own tips yep so I've, I've learned a lot just from reading the, the, the different tips from various people because there's it's literally impossible not to learn something when you have you know a thousand plus people sharing their, their unique tips yeah i used um, to spend a whole lot more time on the facebook fishing groups and now i'm yeah. spending you know an hour to two hours a day i mean pretty much most of my mobile time is on the, the salt strong yeah, app I don't even go into other groups anymore. yeah i uh I'm, I'm, the insider one, that's it. I'm i'm reading every every single post and uh, it's awesome it's the whole anglers helping anglers and obviously uh, you know us and luke and and all of our coaches are putting their stuff in there every week is that as well but it has been really cool to see a lot of people that that are really great fishermen and even just some people that are new they just want to share what they learn i mean you can learn so you can learn a little bit from the, the amazing days right when you just like are catching everything but the real learning as you know just like anything in life comes from those hard learned mistakes those days where you get skunked or nothing's going right or it's crazy windy and like you're having to figure out a plan you're having to put all the pieces together to say you know what like based on all these negative things I'm going to fish over here. And like, that's the big aha moments. And that's been cool. You know, like on Instagram, for instance, no one's showing skunk set pictures. I'm not talking about their bad days where it's here. It's very open. I mean, people are sharing and they're sharing their big wins, their celebrations, and even some of the losses to say, Hey, here's what I learned from this. And I, I've loved that. Right. Yeah. That's I mean, that's because yeah. Any, any time on the water is good. And really any, any shared experience is helpful. Like when I, when I had my biggest, uh, I guess my biggest boost in results is when I started doing those tournaments and started befriending the, the, you know, some of the people who were serious about fishing and, and we're, we were all helping each other out. And literally, you know, there's out of 40 boats, there was at least one of us, one of those three of us, three, three boats. There was one of, one of our teams at least was on the leaderboard every single time because we were just, we were sharing, you know, not everybody can fish every day. Right? I wish we could, but, uh, but when you're not fishing, it's nice to have the network of anglers even if they're not exactly where you are, but just to know that the general trends um, is it, super helpful. And I got on the good tarpon bite because one of the members uh, posted uh, seeing a bunch of tarpon in, uh, in an area that I was, I was only like a 20, 30 minute drive away from. So I grabbed a fly rod, went out there and sure enough, I uh, got the dust off the fly rod, which I rarely ever fly fish and I landed the tarpon just, just from that one little tip. Yeah. It's just, it's just nice. It's just very, very helpful having that with the people. As, as Dane about. says, you learn from the learned. Yeah, Dan, where, where are you from if you're still on there? So, uh, I love it. You learn from the nerd. Yeah. Um, I'm curious that's, what state, it looks like there's one state that didn't, might, might not have had much action. I'm curious which one that is. There, there's been a lot of new uh, of new people from other states, from non-Florida states, uh, joining recently. So now that map should have a pretty good amount of pins in, uh, in other states. Yep. And, and know that we just brought on uh, full-time guides in every every single state, and we're trying to get one for every little region within every state, uh, from Texas up to North Carolina, uh, to do a forecast every single week. So every Thursday evening or Friday morning, they, they have to put up a forecast that basically says, here's where all the bait should be, and here's like your best chance to go out there and target a certain, a certain species, and literally give like their blueprint of what, they're going to be doing over the next couple of days yeah, so, like, so. And based on like the known the known weather um, yep. so like i used to get the florida sportsman all the time and would check the you know the the, the uh, regional reports and uh it was, it was good information but it's you know it's a whole month and it's i'm sure it was all printed and made like yeah. two months prior or at least a month prior so you don't have weather it's more of like a general trend whereas these are weekly updates with like with real-time weather information and these are just experts giving their recommendations on what to do based on, you know, the, the exact exact week and the known weather conditions. Yep. Um, Russ, it should it should be in the comments. Like originally, I'm gonna see if I can comment here. I don't know if it's gonna allow me to comment through this or not. I probably can. Was it was it the link for what? To get this course. Wow. It's got to be a way for me to comment, right? Is is it on the courses page yet for the public? No, we're not having it on the courses page. No, um, all right. Well, as soon as this is over, I'll I'll post it a fresh one. But it should be way, probably one of the very first comments in this entire Facebook uh, live. And if you're wondering about the the club too, uh, just go to saltstrom.com. You'll see a little video about what we're doing in this community and exactly what you get. You can uh, apply. It's an application deal uh, for uh, for that. So uh, check that out. Other than that, uh, man, if 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 you really want to go out there. And become more consistent at, at finding these flounder and, and not just catching them as a bycatch like we've done forever, 
And I'm just telling you, like, we we came away with so much more confidence oh, after right. after going through this ourselves. And if you want that for yourself, if you want to be able to go out there and, and basically predict where these flounder, what kind of areas they should be all year long, impress your friends, have more fun with your family, uh, you know, be kind of the the local go to expert for catching big old doormats. Then invest in this course today. It is completely risk free. I mean, we've taken all the risk off of you, put it on us. You see the value there. I mean, to be able to just spend a couple hours with each one of these guides would have cost you a whole lot more money than that. And we've put them all together, brought like just this ultimate package for flounder fishing. And um, it, I, I don't know what else to say besides it's a complete no brainer. And I, I, I encourage you and urge you to get in and start going through it. I mean, start going through your region first and then hit up some of the regions that touch yours. So if you were in, you live in Jacksonville, Florida, I would hit up, you know, that East coast of Florida and then maybe try the West and move up to the, to the Carolinas. And I guarantee you learn stuff from all of them. And if you love to listen to podcasts, you're in your car, truck a lot, man, get the audio files and listen to you riding your phone or Bluetooth them into your, uh, your car, truck or your, any vehicle, boat, whatever it might be. If you're a reader, you can uh, you can print out, you can download the PDFs and uh, yep. read that as well. All right, I need the email, Charlotte Harbor. Yeah, buddy. Uh, other than that, that's, that's it. It's uh, two o'clock. We almost gone an entire hour. That is one heck of a Facebook Live. Um, thank you guys for all the support, all the love, and any other questions. Let us know. Fish at saltstrom.com. We're probably going to be working here in the next couple hours, and then uh, go spend time with our families. So fish at saltstrong.com. Let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll be back bright and early Monday. And then Wednesday, heading down to the Keys. So if you want us to film any specific tips why we're there for a couple of days filming, uh, let us know. We're going to we're looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. Yep. Thank you, guys. Click down below. Check out that Flounder Mastery. Get it while you can. This goes away Monday night at... 11.59. But today, Black Friday, you will get, guaranteed you will get, those audio files. That is our promise to you. We'll keep that up uh, for sure up until midnight tonight here on Black Friday. All for just $17. Michael, will be down there. Matt Davis. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it would be awesome to meet you, man. Well, uh, probably won't be there in April, but you never know. Yeah, that's, that's not lobster season, man. I have a hard yeah. time. Uh, I have a hard time not lobster dive when I'm down there. Yeah, we usually go in August, and then but I think I think lobster is up until March. March, yeah. It gets, there'll be it no no April. pressure on them right now. A little bit colder. Yeah, April's April's uh, I think a big uh, big tarpon big tarpon time. Man. Yep. Yeah, cool guys, fun. thank you so much. Enjoy Black Friday with your loved ones. Get this course. Uh, it's also a great day to go through it. Uh, I told you about the course I invested in. That's what I'm going to be doing a little bit here this weekend. Is, uh, is going through that myself. And hopefully by the next time you see me live, I'll be much smoother. And we won't be showing pictures of our IDs, of us looking like complete uh, <laughs> nick and poops. Uh, although that was pretty funny. So everyone, take care. Thank you so much for, uh, for watching. And let us know how we can help you or better serve you. In the broadcast day. Good times. <laughs>